Well hello there, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Eco Crypto Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the concept of trilemma in the blockchain industry. If you're interested in blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies, you've probably heard about this concept before. But what is it, and how does it affect the development and adoption of cryptocurrencies? In this video, we'll explore these questions and more. Let's start with the basics. What is the trilemma? In simple terms, this refers to the idea that it's impossible to have all three of the following properties in a cryptocurrency system. Decentralization, scalability, and security. Decentralization, the system is controlled by a large and diverse group of participants, not by a central authority. In other words, power is distributed across the network and not controlled by a single authority, which is important as it creates a level of trust and transparency that is lacking in traditional centralized systems. However, decentralization can also slow down the processing speed and lead to inefficiencies. Scalability, the system can handle a large number of transactions quickly and efficiently. Scalability is the ability of the blockchain to handle an increasing amount of data and transactions as the network grows. This is important because as more people join the blockchain, the network can become congested and slow. However, increasing scalability often comes at the expense of security and decentralization. Security, the system is resistant to attacks and fraud and protects users' assets. Security refers to the ability of the blockchain to resist attacks or malicious behavior. This is achieved through complex algorithms and cryptographic protocols that make the blockchain virtually impossible to hack. However, the more secure the blockchain is, the slower it becomes. Now that you know everything about decentralization, security and scalability, you've figured out that it's recommended to have them three. Slight detail, that's impossible. We don't want to make it too easy, do we? Why is it impossible to have all three at the same time? Well, because these properties are in tension with each other. To achieve decentralization, you need to have a large number of nodes or validators, which can slow down the system and make it less scalable. To achieve scalability, you need to have faster and more efficient consensus mechanisms, which can compromise security and centralize control. And to achieve security, you need to have robust and fault-tolerant protocols, which can limit scalability and decentralization. So, it's a trade-off, and you need to find the right balance for your particular use case. Now that you understand the trilemma, let's look at some examples of cryptocurrencies that try to solve it in different ways. Bitcoin The king comes first. Bitcoin prioritizes decentralization and security over scalability. The Bitcoin network is rather slow and can handle only a limited number of transactions per second, but it's highly decentralized and secure thanks to its proof-of-work consensus mechanism. Ethereum Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, and it prioritizes scalability and decentralization over security. The Ethereum network is faster and can handle more transactions than Bitcoin, but it's less secure due to its proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Ripple Third largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization if we put Binance aside, Ripple is a cryptocurrency that prioritizes scalability and security over decentralization. The Ripple network is designed for fast and cheap cross-border payments, but it's highly centralized, with a small number of validators controlling the majority of the network. So, what does the future hold for cryptocurrencies and the trilemma? Well, that's hard to predict, but there are some interesting developments and solutions. One solution is the shard, which involves splitting the blockchain into smaller segments or shards. Each shard can process its own transactions independently, which helps to increase the processing speed while maintaining the overall security of the blockchain. Another solution is the use of sidechains, which are separate blockchains that are connected to the main blockchain. 
This allows for increased scalability while still maintaining the overall security and decentralization of the network. Finally, there are Layer 2 protocols, such as the Lightning Network, which operate on top of the main blockchain and are designed to handle smaller, faster transactions. This helps to alleviate congestion on the main blockchain and increase the overall processing speed. Shards, Sidechains, Two-Layer Protocols You've grasped the idea, but still not yet crystal clear? Normal. Those concepts are quite not easy to apprehend. We'll dive deeper into each of them in another video. In conclusion, you can't have it all. But with careful planning and innovation, we can come pretty darn close. That's it for today folks. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, stay free to choose. Thanks for learning with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.